Abraham and Isaac, Second Sunday in Lent, Year B. The first reading from Genesis describes Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac. The early Christians, specifically the church fathers, interpreted this account in reference to Christ. They did so by spiritually interpreting the passage. In such an interpretation, each person and some details are seen as anticipations of someone who or something that would be revealed in the future. This is often called typology, where you have types in the Old Testament and antitypes in the New Testament, promises in the Old Testament fulfilled in the New Testament. In the Genesis account, Abraham is commanded by God to sacrifice his son on Mount Moriah, the very site where the Jerusalem temple would later be constructed upon by King Solomon. Close to this same site is where Jesus would be crucified outside of the gates of Jerusalem, on Calvary, also known as Golgotha. According to Genesis chapter 2, Abraham took the wood of the offering and laid it on Isaac his son, who then carried the wood up the mountain. Similarly, Jesus carried the wood of the cross to the site where he was sacrificed in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. An essential difference between Isaac and Jesus is that Jesus was sacrificed and Isaac was not. Instead, Abraham was directed by an angel from heaven to take a ram that was caught by its horns in possibly thorny bushes and sacrifice the ram instead of his son Isaac. As explained by Brant Petrie, the church fathers interpreted the ram as a sign of Christ. And why? Because rams were seen as well symbolizing kingly power, kingly rule. In addition, the bushes, the ram's head and horns, were caught in represent the crown of thorns that were cruelly placed on Jesus' head. Finally, since Abraham was so obedient to God to the extent of even being willing to do the unthinkable, something never asked in the Bible of anyone else to sacrifice a human being to sacrifice his son, what is God's response? Blessed him abundantly and promised to bless the descendants of all the nations of the earth because Abraham obeyed God's command. And God at the same time affirms Abraham's horror of human sacrifice. That is not something that it can ever be pleasing to God. This blessing that Abraham and his descendants received is fulfilled in Jesus Christ, who by his obedience as priest victim, as one who both offered the sacrifice and was the sacrifice, gained for us the blessing of eternal salvation. God bless.